Whoa, guys. Under new ownership? Coming soon? I can only imagine who the owner is. That's right, guys. It's no other than me. Um, oh, sticky keys. Gotta love them. Alright, so, guys. Um, if you haven't noticed already by the weird zombie-like features of my skin, um, this is my Halloween skin. It's a panda zombie thing. I, I had a friend make it for me. I tried. Kind of hard to stick to the whole panda theme. It was kind of hard, but we got. I think we got it going pretty well. Um, but at least it's to today's episode, the subway station. We're going to be building a big train station right here, guys. Um... <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to record it yet. I, I think what I'm going to do is it's going to jump through to different parts of it. And I'm going to show it off. And, the, and at the end, I'll do a fly-through. Which should be kind of interesting. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you do, make sure to hit the like button. And, um... Just show some support. As always, I will see you guys in the next part. See ya. Welcome back. Um, so I was doing a little bit of work. I started the frame for the uh, for the train station here. Um, it kind of looks like a dick. I'm not gonna lie, but it'll look a lot better when the folding roofs are coming down and stuff like that. But um, this is kind of the idea. There's gonna be a clock up here. Uh, this is kind of like it's a train station slash town hall that we're doing for the server. And I was nominated to build it, but um, it's gonna be about this long to the two wooden pillars and. It's probably going to go out to about here-ish or so, so it's it's a good work in progress I'm going to do. But I, I like the shape of it so far. I was trying to get something where it was like, it resembled a train station, but also didn't. And yeah, here it is. But um, but yeah, I will work on it a little bit more. I think I'm going to fill in these walls, maybe make it a little bit more 3D, and then I'll shoot back here. So, see ya. Alright guys, welcome back to the video. So, um... We did a little bit of work here. Um, boom. I added the clock on the top of the train station. I added a little bit of uh, exterior design here. I'm thinking some flower pots on the shelves here. Stuff like that. Added some benches for the people to sit. Just a little bit of minor detail to make it look nice. Um, and then I started off on this side. I'm about to go to the other side now. But um, just a little bit more seating arrangements. I think we're going to somehow incorporate this door to loop around the side here. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's a huge work in progress. I'm taking it as it goes. But, um, as always, I'll keep you guys in tune, and I'll see you guys soon. See you later. Guys, welcome back. Um, my mic's up here. Crap. Hi. <laughs> welcome back. So, um, we managed to get, um, some of it done. I did the, finish up the front details. Um, this side is kind of bland because over here is me, like, porta potties and stuff like that. The bathrooms. And then over here, I managed to do some details over here, as you've seen. And then around the back, I uh, I finished up this place. This is all blank for reasons you'll see. But um, yeah, I managed to finish this up. I put another clock up there, and um, the only thing really left is the roof now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the roof, and then finish up with the fly through, and then that should be this video. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um. Sorry that this video isn't really as energetic, energetic as the other ones. Um, I don't know why I'm just not really feeling the whole let's make a huge joke out of everything today. I wanted to do something kind of serious, so here's that. And my Skype just went off, so there's, and there's that. Anyways, guys, um, I'll see you guys in just a second. Bye-bye. Guys, welcome back to the last segment of me building this thing. Um... What can I really say? I think it came out pretty nice. We have the clock on the top. Uh, some nice details on the sides here. These two sides. The other sides are kind of plan bland on the other sides because it didn't really... There's going to be stuff in here that doesn't really work out with it too much. Um, let me just grab that. We used the rail trick so mobs can't get inside. There is plenty of lighting on the inside to uh, do this. But um, for a more detailed thing and how I built it... Um, Let's activate that fly through. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that uh, like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you're sticking around to the end, um, 
write it down in the comments below. Maybe I'll do a little something special for you. Um, thanks again, and enjoy this fly through. Alrighty, everybody, let's get right into this fly through. So, um, yeah, right off the bat, I want to take a look at this clock. There was, um, there's only so much that I could do with this clock while I'm making it because of the, uh, small area of space. But, um, I feel like I've kind of got the time hands, the, you know, the hour hand and the minute hand kind of all right. It's a pretty good clock. It looks kind of good from far away on the, uh, on the train station. Um, next up, all the windows. Um, so I put a lot of windows on the train station because I want it to, um, I want it to be able to have l natural lighting. So I don't have to worry too much about lighting, which I feel like I was able to accomplish pretty well, as you can see from all the inside lighting and all of that. Um, we use the rails here for the, um, to keep monsters out so that we don't have to place doors in and have it a hassle because it is a town hall. We are going to put a path going around this way, following through, connecting to the main path that leads up to here, just because we want it to. Um, over here, not that much to see because this is the bathrooms and the concession stands over here and all that kind of stuff. Here's another clock on the back so that, you know, if you're coming in from the docks, you can see the time. You know, oh crap, gonna miss my train. Um, stuff like that. Um, we worked kind of hard on the roof to, just to make it look decent because it has to look good from I wasn't worried about it looking good from above which it kind of does I was more worried about it looking good from a lower perspective which is what I feel like I really did accomplish that it looks very nice and I'm very proud of it um but yeah once again we added a lot of windows in it because we want it to symbolize that it could have natural lighting and we don't have to worry about it that much. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little 360 run around and then I'm going to end the video there. So, hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> See you.